Hi everyone, it's James here from Pro Tools Expert. Welcome to another gear review. This time we are looking at the extreme loveliness that is this baby. This is the Direct Out Technologies Andy Armo, which sounds very Italian, but they're actually German. Uh, the Andy Armo MC, which is a 32 channel mic pre, A to D converter, and general all round amazing digital thing. But primarily what this thing does is converts between an analog input and MADI. Now, MADI is somewhere I've trodden only very, very briefly. I had a play with some RME MADI interfaces a little while ago. But trust me, this thing is a step up. To be fair, it's not much of a looker on the front panel. This is not designed to be all whistles and bells on the front panel or in your rack and look really pretty. This is designed to sit in a server room, uh, normally, probably, I think, in a broadcast facility. Direct output are not a company that I'm overly familiar with, um, but, say, those of you in the broadcast world are probably going, really? Have you not heard of them? Hey, I'm a music guy, what can I say? But this thing sounds beautiful. We've built a track, we've always built a track, using just the first eight mic pre's, because, quite frankly, I didn't have another uh, D-sub breakout cable handy without pulling it out of the studio. So we've only recorded on the first eight channels, but the track sounds absolutely stunning. The drums really pop. Um, go back and listen to any of my other mic pre or interface reviews. The drums on this sound fantastic. Um, it's a very simple beast to use. Quite frankly, it's not designed for front panel control. We'll have a look at the um, the on-screen kind of control panels shortly. Uh, but what you see is what you get. Each channel has a three-segment LED meter showing that there's signal, there's a good signal or there's overload, uh, and we have uh, indicators for the, the D2A output, which is obviously lighting up because it's connected to the console. Uh, we have a pad LED and a phantom power LED. This side of things is kind of our main kind of Check it out, make sure it's all working, doing what it should be doing. We'll have a look at that shortly. Um, but quite frankly, most of the technology in here is just getting on and doing what we want it to do. It sounds fantastic. And I've probably said that twice already because it really, really does. So around the back of the Andiarmo, uh, we have the two IEC power inputs uh, with the switches for the two power supplies. We have the word clock I.O. We then have MADI I.O. over both coax and optical. Next to the MADI, we have the USB connection to your host machine for the uh, remote control. And then we have the 32 channels of analog input and 32 channels of output. The input, of course, is both line and mic compatible. Uh, over 25 pin D-sub, the normal Tascam configuration. Uh, and it just sounds beautiful. Have I said that enough yet? So these are the three main control windows for the Andy Armo MC. I can't stop saying it like that, unfortunately. Um, down here is the main remote where we can see exactly what's going on. Now there are several features in here that really point to this being primarily a broadcast unit. The fact that we have dual power supplies, redundant power supplies. Uh, if one of them dies, the other one takes over. We've got a fan speed indicator. You know, this is not stuff that normally sits on studio gear, a temperature monitor, things like that. It's all pretty high tech, pretty usable, pretty serviceable stuff. Now, if we wanna get in and change anything, we go into the settings menu, and that's where everything is tweakable. If we want to, I can change the clock source, the MADI format, um, banking and routing, you know, little, little things like the fan speed and the fan temperature, uh, sample rate, the analog I.O., all that sort of stuff. We can apply it, cancel that. But it's pretty much doing what we need to do at this stage. We're word clocked externally. We've also got MADI sync running. Uh, MADI is linked to my um, Antelope Orion 32HD, which is a MADI input. Funny how these things snowball, isn't it? Uh, we then have our main sort of settings and levels page. Now you can see things are jumping up and down because the drum mics are still connected. The sliders aren't volume, they're gain. These are, our, these are the input gain controls for each of the individual channels. We then have phantom power on and off, and a pad switch on and off. Now, the pad switch is run through a relay, and you can hear that kick in just about, probably. Uh, relays are a much, much, much better way of 
controlling uh, attenuation than just a normal kind of electronic control. Relays are nice, we like relays. Over on this window, this is our main IO matrix. Now, in this particular environment, I'm routing one for one. Input one to output one, input two to output two. Now, you can, of course, get more creative than that if your um, setup requires it. Mine doesn't at the moment. I can check my analog inputs, my MADI inputs, all the way up to 64 channels if I want to. Uh, this is only a 32 channel mic pre, because uh, quite frankly, that's probably going to be enough. See, I told you it wouldn't take long to look around this thing. It is built like a tank. In fact, there are probably armies in the world that would like tanks built as well as this thing. Um, it's not light. Um, it's what I would call typical German build quality, as in it's, it's built with absolutely no compromise. Of course, any 32 channel mic pre of quality is going to be an expensive beast. Um, that is definitely the case with the Andiamo MC32 channel. Uh, only serious facilities and studios need inquire because it's around about the 7,000 UK pounds mark. Uh, I think it's, if you asked nicely, I think you'd get one for about seven grand. It is not a cheap unit, but trust me, the audio quality is absolutely reflected in the price. This thing sounds awesome. You can spend a lot more money for a lot less quality if you try really hard with some brands. Um, this is probably the best external mic pre and A to D I've ever heard. There you go, you heard it here first. And for that reason, and that reason alone, it's getting editor's choice. Um, I've never heard a drum sound straight off the back like it. It just sounds gorgeous. The toms were beautiful, the top end sheen on the cymbals. Um, for audio quality alone, it's getting it. Yes, it's expensive, but you generally find quality is expensive. So enjoy the track. Uh, there's a track, of course there's a track. Uh, normal drums, eight channels of drums with my normal mic configuration. We've then gone bass DI through a DI box straight in. Uh, no kind of preamplifier or anything like that, just the mic pre itself. Uh, and then guitar straight from the 11 rack. Um, we've gone probably Toto, prog rock, a bit messy on this one. A uh, bit of fun really, but listen to the drums. Just listen to the drums and enjoy the drums. For me, that's where this thing shines, where I'd love to be using it some more. Sadly, I think uh, this one will be going home or won't be staying home, if you know what I mean. Um, so enjoy it. But for now, my name's James Ivey, and I will see you very soon for some more Gear Talk.